So a couple of the models are feeling that ridge, that weakness in the ridge, and therefore it takes Katia so far west and then makes that turn basically between uh, Bermuda to the east and the east coast of the US to the west. Some of the models, however, uh, suggest the the ridge is stronger across the Western Atlantic, and therefore it would take Katia further west before that turn takes place. Some models actually suggest one or two models. Um, the majority do keep Katia off the east coast of the U.S. However, there's one, if not two, models that keep the system farther west, enough west that it actually makes an impact on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. <laughs> you can see here, folks, this is off AccuWeather, and uh, you can see here, basically, that there's a, an area of low pressure. That's probably, in fact, it is the, the remnant low of Lee. But you can see here, folks, the jet stream, and there's a dip in that jet stream across eastern Canada. That dip in the jet stream is the weakness, and therefore, is what Katia will feel and will make that turn towards the the north and then the northeast. Now the majority of the models, and I personally speaking, I would suggest that I think this thing won't hit the U.S. East Coast. However, I think it's important to remember that some of the models, like we've seen with Irene, in the days that led up to Irene's landfall in the U.S. East Coast. Some of the models were suggesting that it would it would stay offshore, and in the days leading up to Irene's landfall, the models started to to keep the system farther and farther west, and therefore it became uh, apparent that the system would indeed impact the east coast. So it's, I think it's important to remember that we've still got several days out. Will the ridge be strong enough to keep the system farther west? Or will there be enough weakening, therefore, to see the system turn off the east coast? My opinion is that there's probably a 70 to 80 percent chance that the system will remain offshore of the eastern seaboard. But there's always that 20, always that 15 percent chance that the system continues farther west, and therefore, the east coast has to pay attention to Katia in the coming days. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I know this has been a long video, but uh, we've got plenty to look at, out for, and uh, I continue to suggest that you keep following the, the blog. I'll keep you updated as to what's the latest with Katia and the rest of the tropics. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.